Thank you for joining for Devos. Okay, all this week we are looking at when you ask, believe, and God will answer. You know, I would dare say most Christians don't really realize the power of prayer, but especially when you believe when you pray, not just throwing little requests out there. Look with me here in 1 Thessalonians 5.17. It says, pray without ceasing. Okay, I really want to encourage you to do something. If you want God to answer your prayers, if you want to have the favor of God upon you, I want you to start barring the things of the world out. So what that means is this. You want to be in an attitude of prayer at all times so that when you're getting ready in the morning, you're doing some pray, praying, and okay, you should have a, like a holy time in which you get along with God every day. But then when you're riding in the car, listen, don't, don't be listening to stupid secular music. Take that time to pray unto the Lord. Just having prayer always on like the tip of your lips at all times. Pray without ceasing. Okay, never give up praying until the answer comes. Now, God will answer your prayer. I found all the time, I, I, there's things which I asked from God, and I pleaded, and I begged, and I asked for his will, and his will was, no, I'm not going to give it to you, but there was at one point I realized the answer was no, so at least I knew uh, what God wanted, and sometimes, you know, God's not giving us everything, and, and his infinite wisdom and his sovereignty, he, he knows what's going to happen in the future, so, but God will answer your prayer, but you can't give up. Look at uh, Colossians 4, 2. It says, continue steadfastly in prayer. Do you see that? Continue steadfastly. Like, you don't stop. You have something. Pray about it. Constant. Um, I, I tell people, if you're trying to bring your children to Jesus, you've heard me say this. Have a holy place in your home, which you get down on your knees every day at the same time and pray for those kids. Steadfastly. Look here. Being watchful in, uh, in it with thanksgiving. So you're praying, you're asking, and you are praising his name. He, he likes that. Look, uh, persistence is the quality of winners. <laughs> Listen, that's true in the world, and that is true uh, with God. Okay, so I, it's very, very sad. I, I see people just throwing in a towel and quitting. And uh, Listen, 70% of all Christians, they've been believers for years, and as they get older, they just kind of like chuck it in on life. They just kind of sit back and relax. They're not the spiritual people they used to be. <laughs> Listen, it should be opposite. You get closer to the Lord each year, but so you want to be persistent when you pray about things, believing God's going to answer. Look, keep asking God till you get results. Remember God told the, the story about the woman who kept knocking on the door. She wanted bread, kept knocking and knocking. That purse kept knocking until... They just gave it to him. Okay, God was giving that to us as an example about prayer. Look at Ephesians 6, 18. Praying at all times. You see that? Again, prayer always on your lips. In the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit of God, that means you want to be living a holy life, trying to do the right things. With all prayer and supplication, that's praying for others. So uh, to that end, keep alert with all perseverance. Perseverance, you see it? making supplication for all the saints. So don't give up on praying for people. You're trying to bring the Lord or praying for your family. Prayer is not a preparation for the battle. It is the battle. So listen, the most powerful thing you can do as a believer is to pray in Jesus' name and to believe he's going to give you the answer and be persistent until he answers your prayer.